Oh, hey. I see you. We all see you. Now we don't. Ha ha ha! What's going on guys? My name is James All Thanks See Ya and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And today we're going to be taking a look at the amazing magic wand mod. So yeah, contrary to what this title may suggest, this mod is not some kind of epically awesome Harry Potter wand of death and destruction. Uh, this is actually a practical multi-tool and it's really really useful for anyone who plays both survival and creative Minecraft and it has a ton of awesome features which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, but yeah, before we do that you may be thinking, well James, how do you make the magic wand? Well, I shall show you. So it's a pretty straightforward crafting recipe. We have four iron ingots like so. We have two diamonds either side and we have a piece of redstone at the top. And then that will give us our magic wand. So it's a really nice design actually. It looks pretty cool in the hand. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of awesome, I think. And yeah, as I said, it has like 20 practical uses that save you a lot of time and effort and energy and hassle. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. So. Let's start here with number one, and this is the, I don't know, the, the, the ore wall. Let's call it the ore wall. Ore, ore wall. That's quite hard to say. Um, but yeah, what this does is that it will actually, upon right-clicking an ore block, it will suck the ore right out of that block in its, you know, smelted form or harvestable form. And, uh, you know, that block will then be transferred into a normal stone one. So let's just see it in action here. We go one, two, three, four. And very, very quickly, we have all of the ores straight out of the block. We don't have to pick them, we don't have to smelt them, and they're there ready for us to collect. So, it's really, really cool. I love the effect, and I love the way that it transfers it back into a normal stone block when it's finished. So, keep with that sort of blocky theme, because the next one are fairly sort of blocky orientated. Uh, we have the next one here, which actually transforms cobblestone into normal clean stone. So, this will completely get rid of the whole, you know, smelting the, the cobblestone back into the original clean stone. Uh, you can just right click on the block with the magic wand, and it will turn it back into clean stone. This is going to be really, really awesome for building. Because anyone who likes to build with cobblestone or clean stone, you can start making patterns very quickly or it'll save you a lot of time having to smelt your cobblestone back into normal clean stone. So yeah, as I've said, more blocky features coming. Uh, we have this one here which turns glass into sand, so just a simple right click to do that. Um, you should also be able to turn it back, but unfortunately that is currently not working. So yeah, glass into sand and sand into glass, theoretically. And as well as that, you can also turn dirt blocks into grass. So, you know, just with a right click like so, you can spread the grass on the top. This is really, really useful because it means you do not have to get yourself a silk touch pick if you want to build yourself any underground style farms, like an underground sheep farm. You can take a grass block wherever you want and then you can spread your glass, gr blah, spread your glass, spread your grass very, very quickly. So I really like that feature. It's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, this, in my opinion, is my favourite one out of all of them. Because I'm someone that really likes using wool to build. I don't know how many of you guys do that, but I like building with colours and stuff. Until I sort of accidentally burn it all down, and I'm like, no, my house! But until you burn down all of your love structures, you can actually change the colour of wool blocks just by right-clicking them. So it completely rules out the need for dyes and the harvesting of those certain dyes. I'm sure everyone has tried to find a squid at some point, and then all the squids just sort of trolled you and disappear and you're like, oh god, there's no squids. Uh, but yeah, just right click it like so and it will change it in, oop, change it in all to different colours. So, you know, one for orange, two for pink, purpley, uh, three for blue, you know, four for yellow, five for green, six for pink, and then, you know, you can just scroll through all of these colours. So effectively, just build yourself a white wall and then you can just go to down and just choose whatever colours you want. Really, really nice feature. And that kind of continues with the wood. Much the same, you can just change any colour you want by right clicking them. Uh, you know, the same here with the with the uh, the normal planks. And just an example of that, if you wanted some fancy flooring, you could just do it really, really quickly. So just get yourself a full room of the same coloured wood and then just change it however, however you want. If you don't like it, you just change it back and change the colour. You know, really, really useful. So let's move on. Uh, it also works with things like plants. This is kind of what I'm going to be showing you. You know, you can change the colour of mushrooms, you can change the colour of flowers. Uh, you can also spread trees by clicking on grass, long grass. So, for example, here, if I right-click this a few times, uh, you see all these trees and grasses sprouting up. I also love the particle effect that comes from this wand whilst using it, if you just want to take a look at that quickly. Really nice little colours and stuff. I like. I like a lot. So the next one here just is with gravel. You can right click the gravel and then it will transform it into, um, what was this? Flint, of course. Flint. I don't know. Everyone doesn't like gravel in Minecraft, including me. It's just a really rubbish block. 
Although I did say when it was patched and the, and the textures were changed that it kind of looks a bit like corrugated iron flooring. But the problem is it makes the crunchy noise, so you don't really want to use it for flooring, but yeah. Kind of like an instant flint farmer there for you. Uh, as well as that, it also works very similar to uh, bone meal, so here we have our normal crops. Do I have any seeds? Yes, I do. Just grab these very quickly. Oops. Oh god, no! <laughs> I got rid of my seeds and I transferred it with 64 pink wool. Ah, failing on YouTube. Come on, James. There we go. So here we go. We just plant a few of these randomly and we can just transfer them instantly into the fully grown version. Uh, we can also do stuff like harvest um, plants, so like sugarcane, but you can do that anyway, I guess. Uh, but yeah, finally, this is also a really cool item and it will help you... It'll help... No, really cool item? It's a really cool feature because it will help you get the most out of trees in terms of food and saplings. Uh, what you do is when you right click on the actual leaf block, it will remove that leaf block and drop either apple sticks and or a combination of those as well as a chance for some saplings. And you'll be able to see that very quickly from just a few leaf blocks here, probably around 20 or so leaf blocks, I get an awful lot of items. So these are a load of sticks and then apples and saplings. And, uh, you know, this is a really way to efficiently get a lot from your tree and... Ooh, <laughs> Look at that, I can change the colour of actual tree. I didn't realise I could do that. Wow, you can make multicoloured trees. That is amazing. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you can just have a lot of fun and uh, change all these blocks. Helpful, really, really helpful for building in terms of wool and then wood and then harvesting. And yeah, just a really, really nice multi-tool. And it's extremely useful for both survival and Minecraft players. So yeah, that is it for this Mod Spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Incidentally, if this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos, my name is James, or thanks, see ya. And if you would like to see a few more, it would be awesome if you consider subscribing to the channel or checking out some more videos down the side. Uh, but yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you wanted to leave a rating. But anyway, until next time, thanks again. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks, and see ya.